All right, good morning, afternoon, or evening. I'm Professor Sadeen Kardini. Welcome to another edition of my tutorial videos. In today's edition, I want to show you how to request for a refund on 1688. So let's go. Okay, first you tap this your personal page. After typing the page, you find where the product is. Now, this product I'm requesting for a refund for has been shipped already. Okay, I just want to show you. Now, let's assume this, this was what actually happened. After buying these goods, the logistic company rejected it why because the supplier did not write a particular code that will be used to identify the owner so they had to return it so now we have to ask for a refund so here is what to do i take this vehicle because the goose is already in transit if yours is not in transit you will find it in the options where goods that you paid for are so now this is the page you tap more options when you tap more options it will show you two options the the two options are this the first one at the top is to extend delivery time and the second one is to request a refund so you tap the second option which is to request a refund now they will ask you to, to tick the two to tick the product you want to get a refund for now in this case i actually bought two different products from the same supplier so in in your case it may be that you bought a particular product but let's assume you bought a shoe you bought different sizes okay so you have to take the ones you are requesting for refund for because it's already been shipped so they assume maybe something happened and some of it were were returned back to the supplier so you take the particular ones you want a refund for if it's the old product you take the old product so now i'm taking this taking this and taking this then i'll click to proceed apply the information now, i want to write the total amount now in this place i'm writing the total amount they already showed me the original amount the original amount is 32 yuan and this is the shipping fee the shipping fee is 5 yuan so i'm actually requesting for a total refund okay and here they will ask me to choose the reason why i'm refunding you can translate to find out what is written here so you choose the appropriate reason then you check the box and then you can type an instruction here for the seller you can decide to write it in chinese or english okay kindly grant the refund so i can repurchase the product you can write it in chinese okay and if you've chatted with the supplier you just take a screenshot of it and add it here you just find the picture and then choose it okay so we are not doing that okay let me just choose some so once that is done you approve and then i'm adding this photo just for you to see okay so it's, it's loading so once it is approved you submit your refund then chat to the supplier and tell him to refund like in your normal product page there's a place to chat with supplier so chat to him tell him okay i'm requesting for a refund please grant and once that is done then you are good to go now this is our to request for a refund you just tick this box this red box down here and then your refund is granted thank you for watching our first of day in Cardini. in case you've not subscribed to my videos my youtube channel please do and in case you want to reach me for maybe on the phone you are pay you are having issues with just 88 you can reach me on 081 687 081-687-0524-9 for international users you can reach me on Two three four eight one six eight seven zero five two four nine. Two three four eight one six eight seven zero five two four nine. So thanks for watching. Bye.